Borrow will steal. I could not believe it when he turned around and said that. I could have throttled him. Nick, if there was a prize for the most extraordinary lie, yes. I think you might have just won it. Are you keen to win? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am now, now, now that I've lost my morals. I... Hello and welcome to Beg, Borrow or Steal. Now, ever thought you'd never win big money on a TV quiz show because your general knowledge wasn't up to scratch? Well, think again, because on this show, it doesn't matter if you don't know the answers because you're allowed to beg, borrow or steal them from your opponents. You could say this is more about who you know rather than what you know. Here are the five people who'll be playing tonight. My name's Katie, I'm 25 and I'm a junior doctor. I think I've got quite an engaging and open personality, so I hope people might look at me and see a trusting person. And I'm a doctor, and you've always got to trust a doctor. My name's Nick, I'm 42, and I work for a timber company. I am easygoing, um, and I like to think that people like to get on with me, but in my role as a salesperson, I have to adapt to each individual. I like to think of myself really as a sort of a chameleon. My name's Ola Bode, I'm 22, and I work as a financial advisor in London. I tend to like honest people um, and strong people. I do tend to sort of dislike people who lie but, um, or say things behind your back. My name's Melissa, I'm 26 and I'm a sales representative. I'm a very competitive person and you know it's down to the point that if I don't win or if I don't win anything then I won't want anybody to watch me. My name's Mark, I'm 31 years old. I currently work as a cabin crew manager uh, and originally I'm from Somerset. I think I come across as uh, quite confident uh, quite knowledgeable. So those are our contestants. Currently they're being told the rules of the game, but for you at home, here's a brief explanation. There are three rounds. Each round the contestants compete for £3,000. They are set four questions, and whoever can give four correct answers wins a share of the money. Could be one person, could be all five. The aim of the game is to be the player with the most money after three rounds. Good general knowledge might earn you respect, but good strategy will make you rich. Their briefing is finished. Time for round one. I'm about to give you four questions. Remember, if you want to win a share of the money, you must give me four correct answers. OK? In which 2004 TV drama does Adrian Lester play a con man named Mickey? How many points is a pink ball usually worth in snooker? What is the only bird that can fly backwards? Until 1997, Chris Patton was the governor of which British territory? Now remember, the more people who give me all four correct answers, the smaller your share of the money. So you may want to be careful about who you trade with. Okay? Not everyone's going to be as honest as you. Now, there are two trading rooms where you can discuss your answers privately with whoever you want. Good luck. Right, OK, so has anybody got any ideas? I'm, well, I'm, I'm included right upon, with, I'm uh, upon all of them apart from the first one, or frankness. I okay. only know the snooker and the governor one, so I need the TV and the birds. Well, I'm so sure on that. Melissa, you know those two. I know those two. Should we, should we share? We'll, we'll does we'll anybody trade. know the TV? We'll trade. Do you know the TV? Right, the TV I know, that I didn't sound very confident. Do you know the TV I know one? The TV, definitely. Right, can, can we do you know the birds? I do know the bird, definitely. Are you sure you know the bird? I'm as positive as I could be. There's something about... I know I can give you that answer. You sure? sure? 100%. Tie that to you? 100%. Tick tock. Let's okay. go trade. Go on. Let's go trade. The uh, drama is The Long Firm. The Long Firm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was on the BBC quite recently. The answer for one was Conman. Yeah, but who played the Conman in Mickey? No, I think the question was what was the actual programme called? And it was Conman. It was called Conman. So the answer is in the question. Yeah, basically. I know the snooker because of uh, university. I used to play snooker with two of my um, housemates. OK, you go for... OK, seven. Yeah, I'm quite happy yeah, with you. Yeah, for, for reference, six for the snooker. The bird that can fly backwards is the minor bird. Minor bird. Minor bird, yeah. Okay. M-Y-N-A-H, not the well-known parrot one. Parrot, yeah. The other mm -hmm. one. The bird one yeah. is the kestrel. Because it can hover and it can just fly backwards. Okay. Just to take a Because I, I didn't, yeah, I wasn't sure if it was the, I thought I was thinking of hummingbirds because I remember they no, um, Definitely not. No, it's the Kestrel. Yes. Okay. All right. Remember, they need to get all four correct answers to win a share of the money. Let's call them in. Well, the body. Hi. How are you, my friend? Very well. Come and sit. How are you feeling? Uh, guilty, I think. That's probably the one. 
<laughs> really? Have you yeah. been fibbing? Yeah. 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 You come here to repent? Something like that, a bit of a confessional, yeah. OK, well, I'm about to take your four answers. Don't worry, because the other contestants won't be able to hear what you tell me. I'm not going to tell you whether you've got them right or wrong, but the viewers at home will be able to see. OK, <laughs> all right. Can I take your answers, please? OK. Um, for the TV question, I think it's faking it. For snooker, I think it's six points. For the bird, um, I'm slightly suspicious about this one because my... I, I thought it was a hummingbird, um, something to do with the way that their wings flap very quickly, but he said it was a kestrel. Gave a reasonable explanation, so I'll go for kestrel. Um, just as much to test out whether he was fibbing to me as anything else. Um, and Chris Patton, um, I think it was, it was the colony of Hong Kong. Which one were you lying about? It would have been the TV one. It was called... It was called Conlon. So the answer is in the question. Yeah, basically. Oh, the body, it was a terrible lie. It, it was. Because you, <laughs> <laughs> you could have come up with something a little bit more original than just something that was in the question. I don't often lie. It's not really something which I, I, I tend to do. You're on the I wrong game, mate. So, yeah, yeah. Are you keen to win? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now, now that I've lost my morals, I think, um, I, I think I should get the money, really. Nick, can I take your answers, please? Con man, six, hummingbird, Hong Kong. Do you trust all the body? I do. For the time being. Did you lie to him, Nick? Against my better nature, I did, yes. The bird one yeah. is the kestrel. Kestrel. Do you think he believed you? He was convinced himself it was the hummingbird. And I hope he has believed me it was the kestrel. Melissa, can I take your answers, please? The long firm, seven, the minor bird, and Scotland. How well do you think you've done? I've probably got three out of the four right. Katie, your answers, please. The Fern, Seven, Hummingbird, Hong Kong. What do you make of Melissa? Did you lie to her at all? I did, yes. I gave her one correct answer and one false answer. Which one did you make up? I made up the bird question. And the bird that can fly backwards is the minor bird. Minor bird. Minor bird, yeah. Okay. M Y N A H, not the well known parrot one. Parrot, yeah. I forgot that she'd wanted that answer. And, uh, and I was trying desperately to think of a bird that could be a plausible answer, and I just couldn't think of one. And I came up with the most pathetic answer, which was the minor bird. But I qualified that by saying not the parrot one, the one spelled M Y N A H, the different one. Ah, yes. Mark, can I take your answers, please? Messiah, six points. Hummingbird, Hong Kong. Are you going to try and trade in the next round? Uh, yes, yeah, definitely. Well, no one managed to give me all four correct answers in that round. The answer that no one knew was about the TV drama in which Adrian Lester played a con man named Mickey. The answer, of course, is hustle. Nobody knew that, which means the £3,000 is still up for grabs. It's time for a tie break. Well, I can tell you that nobody has given me four correct answers. That means none of you have won the money for that round, but the money has to go somewhere, so it's time for a tie break. Now, I'm going to give each of you the opportunity to secretly steal all the money for yourself. If just one of you does this, that person will steal all £3,000. The rest of you will get nothing. But if more than one of you decides to steal, they will get nothing, and the money will be divided between those who decided not to steal. Have a think about what you want to do, and I'll talk to you in a minute. Right. Big decision. Just to let everybody know. I'm going to be saying steal. All right. I'm going to be quite upfront. I'm going to be honest about it. So if anybody else would like to take the rest of the money away from me, if this gentleman's saying steal, we all need to steal. Then at least one other person needs to sacrifice themselves. Basically, right. I'll steal as well. Any time. Why? Why are you going to go in and say steal as well? Just simply because of the fact that there's there's only two ways it can happen. Either Mark decides not to steal, in which case. I get the lot, or he does steal, in which case you guys get it, basically. So those are the options. You were quite vocal in that discussion, weren't you? Yeah, so I just thought I'd set the cat amongst the pigeons. Yeah. Just a uh, bit of luck, everybody will steal. OK, Definitely. Mark, do you want to steal or share the money? Share, please. Why is that? I'm hoping that by sort of quite blatantly saying that I'm going to steal, the others are going to be try quite determined to try and stop me from stealing. 
What do you want to do? Steal or share the money? Steal. Melissa, do you want to steal or share the money? Share. What are you going to do? Are you going to steal or share the money? I'm going to share. Well, the big question is, do you want to steal or share the money? I'm going to steal. So, Nick won't be getting a penny, and nor will Olabode, because they both tried to steal. Instead, the £3,000 will be shared among the people who decided to share. For Melissa, Mark and Katie, honesty was the best policy, giving them £1,000 each, which means they share the lead at this early stage. Well, I gave you all the chance to steal the money, and I can tell you that two of you decided to steal. That means those two people have won nothing, and the money has been split three ways, to those who decided not to steal. It's time for round two. The Curra is a venue in which sport? Who is the mother of the Oscar-nominated actress, Kate Hudson? Who opened his first fish and chips palace in 1931? The Cat in the Hat is a children's book by which writer? I'll be honest, I don't know any sport. I don't know the sport answer. I'm absolutely 100% on all the others. Do you know the sport answer? No. I you know it? Do you want to trade it? Yeah. What do you don't know? I don't know. I, I don't know the Kate I'm... Hudson. Yeah, I, 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 I know. I'm positive with Kate Hudson. And the cat in the hat. Yeah, absolutely. I know that one. 100% well. I don't trade. know that one. The show? Just the two? I'll trade. I'll trade. I'll trade. I'll trade. All right, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I definitely know uh, the Curra. I'm not sure on Kate Hudson. I need confirmation. Shall we all trade? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you don't have to? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Fantastic. The Curra. So. I'm Have you really... got any idea of where it's from? Just well, it's the Irish. The, the name's Irish, so... It's a trick question, because it's hurling. I just can't... The, the Curra is where the, the, uh, the Irish play rugby union. So it's the mm -hmm. Irish rugby union okay. ground. Really? But the cat in the hat, it's, it's Dr Seuss. That was... that was it. I was 80% sure on that one, and now you've said it, that's fine. And you've got no idea about Kate Hudson? Not at all. Do you know Susan Sarandon, you know, Thelma and Louise, Rocky Horror Picture Show? I know Oscar, Susan Sarandon, you know... I didn't know that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's reading too many heat magazines, that's my problem. Oh, right. So, Kate Hudson, go on. Kate Hudson. Yeah. What about the fish and chips? Fish and chips, fish Harry Ramsden. 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 That's the bit, it's obvious. Yeah. Those are him, Ori and Bill. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the, the cat in the hat? Dr. Seuss, go on, I'll Seuss. give you that. Okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, Dr. Goldie Seuss, Hall. Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. Yeah. Remember, as before, they need to get all four correct answers to win a share of the money. Let's see how they get on. Rugby, Goldie Horn, Harry Ramsden, Dr. Zeus. What do you make of the other contestants? I thought Mark to start with. I was very suspect of Mark. Now I've been in the trading room, I'm not so sure, because he gave an honest answer. My opinion on Katie's completely changed. I don't trust her anymore. And Nick, I don't trust him either. Nick, your answers, please. Horse racing, Susan Sarandon, Harry Ramsden, Dr. Seuss. That's not what you said in there, is it? No, it isn't. My fiddle. off. I do feel bad. Just well, it's the Irish. The, the name's Irish, so... It's a trick question, because it's hurling. What answers did she give you? She gave me Dr. Seuss, and she gave me Susan Sarandon. And I'm convinced they're right. She wouldn't lie to you? No. My answer to the first one is hurling, second one is Goldie Horn, third one is Harry Ramsden, and the last one is Dr. Seuss. Do you trust Nick? Um, as much as you can trust anyone in this game, really. Were you honest to him? Yes and no. He had an idea about the children's book, and I kind of probed him on that, and he said he was 85% sure. And so I thought, well, I might as well give him the right answer, because he's more likely to believe me when I fobbed him off. I told him Susan Sarandon for the actress. Rugby. Goldie Horn, Harry Ramsden, Dr. Seuss. Which ones aren't you sure about? The cat in the hat is the one that I'm not really certain of, but I, I, it's just the idea of a doctor's writing um, those sorts of books. But I, I mean, Dr. Fox is a DJ. <laughs> it's, it's true, but I mean, is he actually a doctor? He, no, he's actually a fox. <laughs> He's a real pop. <laughs> I, 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 I can believe that, yeah. Um, what do you make of Nick? Me and my friend Nick, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's a bit of a scoundrel. What about Mark and Melissa? Mark concerns me slightly, um, just with this Dr. Seuss thing. Um, I'm not actually sure. M Melissa didn't really say anything, so um, it's, it's very difficult for somebody to trick you by not giving you any answers. 
Horse Racing, Goldie Horn, Harry Ramsden, Dr. Seuss. You said it was a rugby union. I'm oh, sorry. I'll, I'll apologise some later on. You're sure it's horse racing? Yeah. Well, only one person gave me all four correct answers. That was Mark. That means he takes all of the £3,000 and moves into the lead as we go into the final round of trading. I can tell you that only one of you gave me four correct answers. So that one person has had £3,000 added to their total. This is your last chance to build your money. Round three. Who wrote Notes from a Small Island? In 1964, Keith Moon became the drummer of which rock band? The Aswan High Dam spans which river? In 2000, who became the manager of Glasgow Celtic FC? OK. I know the answers to the who wrote. I know the Aswan High Dam. I know the manager of Glasgow Celtic. I have a pretty good idea about the drummer of the rock band, so and I need somebody need to, to confirm it to me. To so that. whoever goes in the room yeah. will have to say the answer of that, and that yeah. will confirm it, and I will then give any of the other answers. I think a few of us need to try Absolutely any of the answers. I'm a trigger you don't know the one. I think there's three. Do you know the dam? Do you know the dam? Uh, no, but you, I need the music you. confirming. I need it confirming as well. I know, I've got an idea of what it is. You know the dam. So I know the dam. He knows the dam. So let's trade, yeah? Let's three, shall we trade? It depends. Do you know the rock, the drummer of the rock band? I know the drummer of the rock band. All right, okay, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, go on then. Question Bryson one is, is Bill Bryson. Bill you know, Bryson. He's done notes from a large continent is, Af uh, is uh, America, notes from a small island is on England, right. notes from down under is notes from Australia. So Bill he's Bryson, in a series of just Bill Bryson. He wrote the notes from a small island. I'll, I'll quite happily say uh, Bill Bryson. Bill Bryson. What were your thoughts on Keith Moon? So I don't know. I, again, it's, I remember. Um, he's actually something... played, I'm a bit anal on pop music. Yeah. He's played, he's a drummer, been a drummer for a few bands, but he's more well known for being the drummer for one particular band. Which ones? The Kinks. Keith Moon, which band is he the drummer of? Mark the Hoople. And you said you knew the answer to that. Mark the Hoople. Mark the Hoople? Mark the Hoople. Mark, 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 Mark the Hoople. No, I'm sorry, don't, don't take that. Not even vaguely close, definitely not. It Who wasn't knows? what I had in my head. No. You, because you had something in your head as well, yep. didn't you? I'm not going to throw it out there. I've never heard of them, and I just think I would have heard of them. Mark the Hoople. Absolutely have you heard of them? Absolutely, definitely, it's not Mark the Hoople. What, do you, what are you saying for the dam, then, Mark? Because I've got the same suspicions as you about the drummer. No, look, I'm going to have to keep the, the dam to myself. I'm really sorry. I was thinking possibly, uh, like, the Nile. That was my... I thought it was, it was definitely yeah, between the Zambezi um, and the Nile. I'll give you the manager of Glasgow Celtic. I'll use the manager Martin O'Neill. Martin O'Neill. All right, so that's two answers. So I'm just going to have to guess at the second one. What, what do you think about the football one? Uh, the, the football... Oh, sorry. Yeah, the football one's Graham Souness. He Is it? went... Yeah, he was there before he went to um, Blackburn. Don't forget, they need all four correct answers to win a share of the money. Let's see how they get on. Not the hoop off. You are not a happy bunny, are you? No, I can't believe it. I could not believe it when he turned around and said that. It could not be any less... I nearly hoopled him. I could have throttled him that I'd wasted a perfectly good answer that he didn't know. I'm Mott the Hoople. Well, do you think he believed it was Mott the Hoople? I, I, there's no chance, absolutely no chance at all, that he meant Mott the Hoople. Uh, Mark, your answers, please. Certainly. Bill Bryson. The Who, the River Nile, and Martin O'Neill. You said the Who. Why'd you go for that? It's either the Who or the Rolling Stones. I, I'm just not definite. Just not definite at all. The only thing I'm definite of is he's not Mark the Hoople. What do you make of Nick? Uh, I think he's a liar. A bit confrontational in there, wasn't it? Got a bit heated. Yeah. You had something in your head as well, yep. haven't you? Well, I'm not going to throw it out there. I've never heard of them, and I just think I would have heard them. Mott the Hoople. Absolutely have you heard of them? Absolutely definitely is not Mott the Hoople. Nick, can I take your answers, please? Bill Bryson. The Who. The Dam, I don't... don't know. 
Martin O'Neill. It's the football question. So you're not sure about the dam? If I need to take a stab in the dark, I'll just say the Nile. I guess it's better than nothing. It is, yeah. So I will say the Nile, purely for the name Aswan. What do you mean? Well, it sounds like that group, Aswan, <laughs> that used to sing. Right. Like reggae songs, so. What, from uh, Aswan, Aswan from Jamaica? There might be some loose logic there, Jamie. I'm just grabbing at straws. <laughs> Nick, if there was a prize for the most extraordinary lie ever given on this show, yes. I think you might have just won it. What would Mott the Hoople? Well, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> he wasn't sure. <laughs> Mott the Hoople? Yeah. You could have come up with the Kinks or the Stones or Mott the Hoople? It was just he wasn't sure if it was a name that he'd heard and it was worth taking a chance. What, you think he believed you? No, obviously never. Not even vaguely close. Definitely not. I was just desperate for the damn answer. <laughs> and I wished he would have come out with that first. Uh, Brian Price, The Rolling Stones. I have no idea on the river. Go on, I'm... give us a guess. Zamba. And uh, Martin O'Neill. Who's Brian Price? Um, I have no idea. I'm completely um, taking Mark's word for that. Who wrote the notes from a small island? I'll, I'll quite happily say uh, Bill Bryson. Nick's completely untrustworthy and is really in it for himself, so... And Mark, I don't know. I don't know. What answers did you get from that trading round? Um, two. And I really wanted the dam. Was I really needed that one. I should have paid more attention in my history. Or geography. Mm, sorry, geography even, yeah. Bill Bryson. The Kinks. The Nile. Martin O'Neill. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. That's not what you said out there, was it? Uh, no, no. Um, to be honest, I, 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 felt, I felt really honestly guilty. I thought one's Graham Souness. He Is it? went, yeah, he was there before he went to um, Blackburn. Do you think Katie believed you when you told her Graham Souness? I, I think she may have been slightly suspicious of it. Bill Bryson, The Who, The Nile, and Graham Souness. Which one aren't you sure about? Well, I'm going, well, Graham Souness, I'm, I'm going on um, Olabode's um, trust, really. You're, you're pretty confident that he was being honest with you with the football one? I have heard of the man, so I know he exists, which is always a positive thing. So, after some fantastic teamwork, Nick and Mark gave me all four correct answers. That means they split the £3,000 between them, which is £1,500 each. Let's see what that has done to the final totals. And it's Mark who will be going on to play for £5,500 in the final. And remember, at this point, no one has any idea how much money they have. Well. I can tell you that in that last round, two of you gave me four correct answers. Which means those two people have split the £3,000 between them, which is, of course, £1,500 each. That was your last chance to win any money. The three rounds are over. And I can tell you that just one of you will be going through to the final to play for the cash. With a total of £5,500, that person is... Mark. Well done. Hello. You've earned the right to play yeah. in tonight's final that will decide how much of that five and a half thousand pounds you'll actually be taking home. Mark, so far you've accumulated five and a half thousand pounds. That's what's at stake. Right. I'm going to ask you four more questions. Okay. If you can give me four correct answers, you'll take home all of the money. Here we go. Ben Stiller and Vince Vaughn star in which 2004 comedy film? In 1999, which Radio 1 DJ was shot in a drive-by incident in Kennington? Who created the literary character Huckleberry Finn? The statue of Lady Godiva is located in which British city? Right, OK. Uh, I'm positive about the literary character. I know that definitely. Reasonably positive about Lady Godiva. The Radio 1 DJ. I'm not sure. Ben Stiller and Vince Vaughan. Ben Stiller's done so many films. 
that, once again, I'm not sure. Um, you listen to Radio 1? Not very often, no. <laughs> See, that might be a problem. Yeah. All right, I'll have a go. OK, Mark, can I take your answers, please? Dodgeball. DJ Spoonie. Mark Twain. Coventry. Mark, you've given me three correct answers. But don't worry, all is not lost. As with the rest of the show, I'm now going to give you the opportunity to try and get the answers you need from your opponents. What you must now do is choose from someone in there to help you get the answer to the question you got wrong. Whoever you choose will get a share of your winnings, whether they know the answer or not. OK, they've heard everything so far, so I'll now let you speak to them so you can decide whose help you want. OK, who I listens to Radio 1? Daisy, I said Carl Lewis' father is a big I know the answer. It's the Radio 1 DJ. That's what it is. It's the Radio 1 DJ. Later night, DJ. I know all about this guy's life. Right, I'm going to ask you a question. 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 OK, Katie, you're now playing for £2,750. You've made it through to the final. The question is, do you know the answer? You can discuss okay. all your answers before you give them to me. OK. Go on. Reasonably positive dodgeball. Well, dodgeball is correct. Yeah? It's Great. Tim Westwood. Um, Mark Twain, obviously. Yeah. And Lady Gaga, obviously. Good obviously. So, go on. So I'm just there we giving go. you the chance to turn nearly £3,000. I'm glad you did. So. I'm really glad you did, because... Definitely. We don't want to water down the money anymore. Go on. Katie, can I take your answers, please? My answers are Dodgeball, Tim Westwood, Mark Twain and Coventry. Katie, you have won £2,750. Well <laughs> Thank you for choosing me. Well done. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Brilliant. Thank you very, Thank very you. much indeed. Thank Sorry, you. guys. Congratulations. <laughs> Join us next time when five more contestants will have to beg, borrow or steal from each other to win thousands of pounds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. After the show, our contestants are invited to watch the programme and find out what really happened. The weird one yeah. is the kestrel. Kestrel? Because it can hover and it can just fly backwards. So, uh, kestrel, hey? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was a hummingbird, but he said it was a kestrel, so I'll go for kestrel. He told me he knew that it was hummingbird, and I couldn't believe that he said kestrel. Oh, and this no. is why it's all the more bad, because I'm going to look like a right idiot as well, because I'm going, yeah, this is the right answer. But I'm not going to go for that. <laughs> I'll go for this answer here. I'm going to go for Great. albatross. That's a good one. <laughs> it was a good lesson for me, because I realised what he was all about very early on. Keith Moon, which band is he the drummer of? Mark the Hoople. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that Mark wasn't impressed with that at all. I could not believe it when he turned around and said that. It could not be any less... I nearly hoopled him. I could have throttled him. It was just so obviously a lie. It couldn't have been more obvious if he painted it purple and painted lie across the front of it, you know what I mean? And Mark just wanted to win, do you know what I mean? He was like... I'll kill people to win. You know, he really wanted that money. Yeah, yeah, so I've said it can't. I know that it's a bit of a I know that it's a bit If Katie wasn't a doctor, I could see her um, being like a regimental sergeant major or something like that. I could see her yelling at the, the new recruits and reducing these poor little 17 year old kids into tears. That or a lollipop lady or something. All's fair in love and quiz.